10 things that happen to you when you become an elegant lady. When you change and go through any kind of transformation, a lot of things around you will start to change as well. Your environment will change, the people around you might change, and you will view it all differently. Here are some of the things that I have noticed when I went through my elegance transformation journey and became a woman I wanted to be. Number one, you will stand out because you're not trying to stand out. You're not following trends like everybody else because you wear classic, timeless design clothing that is flattering for your particular body shape, your skin tone, your own unique taste and style. It is not determined by fashion trends that come and go every few months now and start to look tacky and outdated very quickly. Most of these trends are ridiculous and look silly anyway, so you're not really missing out on anything worthwhile. You're not wearing revealing clothing, massive eyelashes, and high heels like many women who are desperate for attention do. As an elegant lady, you feel very comfortable in your skin. You don't need loud outfits, outrageous makeup, long fake nails, and lip injections to feel confident and beautiful. You do everything with taste and moderation, and that is so rare these days. People will notice you from a mile away. Your energy, sophistication, and class will attract them. Number two, people around you will start to change. Unfortunately, not everybody will be happy to see you do well. Some of them will be jealous, they will say you've changed, and yes, you did change, and it's a good thing. It would be weird if you stayed exactly the same as you were 5 years ago, or 10 years ago, or even 3 years ago. It means that you didn't grow, you didn't develop, and you didn't learn anything. Change is a good thing, and we need to be okay with that. And we need our close people, our support system, to be okay with that. And if they're not, they will eventually fade away from your life. Because if they don't want to see you grow, flourish, and succeed, you don't want them in your life in close proximity anyway. It can be very sad and disappointing, especially if these are the people you loved and cared about. And they just don't want you to become the main character in your own life. It's okay to let those people go. You will attract new people who will cheer you on and you will do the same for them. Energetically, it will be a much better space to thrive in. Don't allow people's judgments, fears, jealousy, cruel jokes to knock you down or to make you doubt yourself. Walk your own elegant path. Those who truly meant to be there will be sincerely happy for you. You will start attracting high-caliber men. This is not something people like to talk openly about, but this is the reality, so I see no point in hiding it. When you wear short dresses, mini skirts, revealing cleavage, high heels, loud makeup, it will get you a lot of attention and a lot of men will hit on you. The problem is that the quality of such attention is really low because you will attract it with your body and your looks essentially and this is what they want from you, your body. Whether we like it or not, the way we look communicates the message to the world. This is going to be an invitation to all the low-level men to approach you and their goal will be to satisfy their own short-term physical needs. You will be objectified. It's really unfortunate that this is the case, but it's true and denying that won't change anything. So when you change the way you look, you show less skin, you start to look more elegant and sophisticated, you will start attracting higher value men, educated men, men from good families, with good upbringing, those that have values and moral standards, those who look for high-value women to build a family with. Of course, this is not always the case, it's not all black and white. By becoming an elegant lady, you won't be magically transported into a perfect world. But, proportionally, it is a big difference. There will be a lot less creeps and one-night stand weirdos, and a lot more quality men entering your life. Number four, you will start investing in yourself unapologetically. You will start to treat yourself, pamper yourself, really take good care of yourself. You will realize that self-care is not a luxury, it is a necessity. And I don't only mean things you can buy with money. I mean you invest your time, 
and energy, your dedication to something that is important for you, your education, your manners, the way you talk, and yes, what you buy and how you treat yourself. Elegant ladies know that they get the best returns when they invest in themselves. I invested in my education, online courses, and variety of skills to increase my income. I invested in premium skincare because I want to age gracefully. I invest in quality things that can serve me for many years so I don't need to keep repurchasing stuff to replace it every year or so. In the long run, it saves me a lot of money and time and energy. I invest in quality, long-term relationships and friendships and really dedicate my time to nurture those relationships. And I can afford to do that because I eliminated all the meaningless connections trauma and negative people that drain my energy and waste my time instead of us motivating and fulfilling each other. The list goes on. Number five, and it's a funny observation, but people will start inherently trusting you. When you look a certain way and you act a certain way, people will deem you as someone trustworthy. They want to do business with you. I don't know a single person who knows me and who didn't offer me some sort of a business partnership or collaboration or show me their business plan or at the very least they come to me for financial advice like literally tell me what to do with my money kind of questions. I am shocked how much people trust me and of course I never abuse their trust but also I just never want the responsibility of someone's livelihood to be on my shoulders. Number six, you will be treated with respect. I guess this is where I can mention healthy boundaries and most of it is nonverbal communication. You will start to notice the small things on a daily basis. People will start to use less profanity around you. They become more mindful about being on time when they meet you. I see how my personal trainer at the gym talks to his other clients. He's really harsh. He's really yelling at them. When we have our sessions, he never raises his voice on me. He's always polite, he's always gentle, he gives me the instructions without the intensity and stress that he imposes on his other clients, and we never even had a conversation about it. He just knew straight away that I am not a person he should be yelling at. Your presence and how you conduct yourself will drastically change how people will treat you. It's day and night, really. Which goes hand in hand with my point number seven, people want to please you more. When you enter a restaurant, you get the best seat in the house. When you agree to go on a date with a man, he will not take you to a shabby bar for a beer. He will invite you to a proper establishment worthy of a lady. They will open doors for you. They will not spam you with silly memes online. When you raise the standard, people will raise their standards too. I was going to the same Japanese restaurant all the time when I lived in Berlin and the main chef, who is also the owner of this place, knew me well because I was a regular and he made me a special dessert that was not even on the menu that I didn't even order. It was a present from him personally. It was beautiful and it was delicious and he did it just for me that evening. You start to feel special and it's a nice feeling. Number eight, other women will start copying you. It's just a side effect that comes with the territory. When you look good and people see how well it works for you, naturally, they want the same for themselves. Honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. I gladly share where I bought my dress, what fragrance I'm wearing, which hair products really did wonders for me. This is pretty much what I share here on my channel. My bags, my blouses, my makeup, everything is listed in my shopping guide. If my friend likes my perfume, I will be the first one to gift it to her. I don't think we need to compete with each other. I am all for sharing, supporting and cheering each other on. I want women in my life to flourish, become even more beautiful, become even more successful, and all women in general, I believe, will benefit a lot if we have less jealousy, less competition, less dragging each other down, and more loving, giving, and nurturing energy. And we all have it within us. It was given to us by nature. We just need to remember it and put it to good use. Number nine you start noticing a massive difference in quality. 
quality of life in general, the food you eat, the relationships you have, the mattress you sleep on, the quality of clothing you buy. I make these videos on TikTok, what elegant ladies shouldn't wear and what brands not to shop from. And I never make these videos with intentions of hurting anyone's feelings or criticizing their taste. The main reason I do it is because I notice a huge difference in quality. Yes, quality will cost more money initially than cheaper stuff, but quality also means durability, longevity. Let's take the leather bag example. The synthetic cheap bag will start falling apart within a year or two. It will start looking so worn out, you wouldn't want to wear it anymore, so you will throw it away and buy another cheap bag. Or you buy a good quality leather bag that will age beautifully. It will form this patina the longer you have it and the more you use it. It will just keep getting better over the years. So you can have it for the next 10 years looking fabulous. Number 10, your confidence will grow inevitably. The way you look will grow your confidence. The way you act will grow your confidence. The way other people treat you will grow your confidence. The way you treat yourself will grow your confidence. Growing up, I had many insecurities. They're all gone. When I went through this transformation journey, I didn't do it so just other people think I'm awesome. I did it to feel awesome, to feel confident, to feel beautiful, to feel loved. I did it for myself and to be proud of myself. And now when I am, I am the happiest I've ever been. And I wish this for everyone. This is why I'm sharing it. So if you want to get on that new path in life and become an elegant, classy lady who knows what she wants, who knows how to look effortlessly chic, who has refined manners and taste, who is so desirable by high value men, who is treated with respect and admiration and who is proud of herself. I have created multiple ways you can absorb this knowledge and experience from me. I make these more in-depth YouTube videos on how to look chic and classy, how to become a high-value woman and so much more. So if you're not subscribed yet, now is the time. I post videos on TikTok every day specifically about elegance in the more short format. I wrote a book, Your Guide to Elegance, where I cover all aspects in greater details on mindset, attitude, etiquette, how to behave, how to dress for your particular body shape, how to find your signature scent, and so much more. You can download this book, the link is provided under this video. And finally, I have created a shopping guide because I often get asked for specific recommendations on what to buy and where to shop. So in this shopping guide, I curated my best picks for each category, dresses, shoes, bags, hats, pants, etc. It is now bigger and better than ever before. I added a lot more plus size friendly options. I added more budget friendly options for those of you who are at the very beginning of the journey but still want to make better choices. It took me a very long time to put this all together. I hope it will help you. I hope you will enjoy it. Best of luck with your transformation journey. I love you and I believe in you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.